Hello, friends, and welcome back to Storytime at Nana's so It's always good to have you here with me. Book I want to share right now. It is called An Abbey Tale, and this was published by my friends over at Bendham Books who have given me permission to share. Here we go. Once upon a time, a little fairy named Abby was looking for her very own fairy tale in fairy tale land. Abby searched high. Atop a beanstalk, Jack was busy not waking the sleeping chicken. Abby whispered, I am from Do not strum. Abby searched low under a princess's mattress. She found a pea. In my tail, I'll find broccoli, said Abby. Yum. Nana likes broccoli, too. While Hansel and Gretel's gingerbread house, Abby heard a strange sound. Hansel wondered if it was his tummy. Came from those bushes, said Abby. It was Elmo in boots. Have you found my fairy tale? Abby asked. If Abby's tail has a prince, said Elmo, then look over that hill, he said. And there was the prince on Sir Clip Clop's horse. Rapunzel's long hair is pretty, said Abby, but in my tail, I'll have pigtail. Hmm, thought Abby. Lots of fairy tales have a cottage and a wolf. She waved her wand and poof. What a big pumpkin you made, said Big Red Riding Hood. You see Big Red? And see the pumpkin, it's the wolf. But that wasn't Abby's tail either. The last place to look was the three pigs' neighborhood. One, two, three houses, counted Abby. And one, two, three pigs. No room for me here, she said. Oops. Abby's tail wasn't anywhere in fairy tale land. So Abby poofed to Sesame Street, where she looked at all her favorite places and good friends and saw that Abby's very own special story is right here on Sesame Street. And that is the end. Da -da -da. Oh my goodness, man, I like that. And I hope that you enjoyed it as well. It's time for me to go, my friends, but before I do, you know I like to encourage you to continue letting your light shine by being kind. Until next time, take care of yourselves. God bless you. And always, always, always remember that this Nana right here loves you. Bye.